my lovelies welcome back to my channel and for everybody who is new I'm Leora and I'm so glad you found me so welcome to today's video which is going to be new makeup releases sneak peeks my wish list that is ever growing and it's so bad <laughs> so uh, yeah so that's what we're gonna do today and I'm so happy to be sitting down and finally I can talk about makeup which like nobody in my family wants to listen to me about this so I'm so happy that I have you thank you <laughs> all right so of course before we go in of course the original creator of this series is Samantha March. You find her and also the community playlist and her channel in the description box as well as all my sources and everything I'm going to talk about. And then before we go in I always uh, update you on if there's anything new to my collection and I actually got a couple days ago I got my order from Colourpop that I ordered on the um, July 4th sale. In the July 4th sale whatever, however it's called. So I ordered there the Build Your Own Palette palettes, uh, two of them, and there is one palette like this that is all like um, metallics and there are I think three or four duochromes in those and then also one palette that is all mattes which is this one. So uh, I must say that for, I love the uh, everything. I love everything though because I'm so, like I'm so German. <laughs> I have a makeup inventory and I enter every single thing that I have into this inventory in order to not lose track of what I have and um, every time I'm writing a description box I force myself to go through everything because I have to you know put everything in the description box. So um, I'm going through everything that I have and this, like, it, it keeps me aware of what I have. So while I was doing that, I went through every single one of those, I think 48 shades that I got, singles that I got, and compared them with the Colourpop website. And I must say, to be completely honest, there are quite a few significant color differences in what I got and what is on the website. So just be aware that that is a possibility. Um, it is not like the shade that I got is ugly or it's like instead of ordering red you get green, but when when I say it was different then I mean that maybe a like a bluish purple suddenly pulled more into the blue than into the purple. Like there are like shade kind of a few differences. But anyway, I'm still, I'm very excited to use them and uh, okay, can't wait. <laughs> so just saying that because that is uh, the only new thing that I got which is huge. It's enormous for me so I'm very happy and uh, now we're gonna go to the side because we have a lot to talk about. A lot. And also my kids are in the back. Of course ugh, they're playing in the background so I hope we'll have some uh, more or less undisturbed quality time here together in the friend zone. All right uh, let's start up Instagram and let's start with P. Louise. So uh, P. Louise and M. 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 Mitchell, <laughs> I don't know how to say this, I don't know what this name is all about. Anyway, they collaborated and they're coming out with a face paint which is super super vibrant, super colorful and I think for my purposes and for makeup, my makeup style super exciting. Even the normal P. Louise base is for me very intriguing and is something that I totally could see myself getting or trying trying at some point. The white one and also like the one that fits my skin tone. Uh, I would really really love that but they are coming out with this super crazy range of how many? A lot of shades <laughs> that are super super bright and you can use them. Wait they're saying all of this here. Wait it's a new formula. It's self-setting. It's matte. It's for cut creases. It's non-moving. It's tear proof and you can use it on body, on hair and on waterline and they have seven shades. It's a magenta, a blue, a bright pink, a bright purple, a teal, a yellow, a bright green. And then they have also three brushes to go with that. So I think this is actually very exciting. I don't think I have prices as of yet, um, but this is gonna be available from August 1st. And I think this is a super exciting release, which I am um, uh, very intrigued, very, very intrigued. Okay, next thing is uh, Unique Beauty. <laughs> Yeah, okay, so uh, <laughs> do I need to say more when you see my face? I, do, I don't think so. Okay, so they're coming out with the uh, La Gelateria palette and it looks like this. So uh, this lovely little item that you definitely have to have in your collection in order to save your life is 
isn't it the most beautiful thing you've ever seen? <laughs> and this baby retails for 50 pounds, which is then, I guess, like, f I don't know, 55, 57 dollars? Does it make any sense? I don't understand. That is, it comes with a bag. Okay, so I'm going to include a picture of the bag, which is so ridiculous and so unpractical. It's like a round, it looks like it's like a round kind of a thermos bag. I don't know if it's thermos, but it's like a, the, the shape. And it comes in different colors, like, but like who needs this? That is so, so, and the, also the color choices in that palette. What is that? I don't understand. I really don't understand. Don't like it. The the messenger bag, they call it the messenger bag, retails for um, 28 pounds and the palette, including the bag, retails for 50 pounds. So no. <laughs> Not not my piece of cake. Next thing, Alamar Cosmetics is coming out with those uh, nude lip glosses and uh, lip liners. So the, the lip glosses retail for $15 each, the lip liners $12 each. And I think, you know, I'm not the super, super most excited person about nude releases, but lips, yes. So um, I like this. <laughs> I actually do. It's not like super existential for me. Uh, eyeshadow palettes and highlighters and blushes are super existential to me. Super. Uh, and we're gonna have a few beautiful things that I'm gonna show you. But um, this is not a bad release. I like it and I think this can serve a lot of people. It's a very smart release because most people will like this, you know? So I guess people, no, uh, brands really need to, to work like this. I guess, I don't know, if I had a brand or when I have a brand, God willing, maybe at some point, uh, then um, I don't know if I would make myself do that just in order to sell. Um, I don't know if one has to do that at some point, if it doesn't go well, I don't know. But of course, my whole heart would be in the colors and I would try to bring out colorful stuff. But anyway, this is not a bad release. And I told you how much it costs and this is basically all I want to say about that. Then we have something new or at, for me it is something new and that is a, a brand that is called it's wait it's a luxury brand let me just find this so I don't mess this up because it's luxury um, it's called Rodino Ol no Rodin Olio Lusso I think so this is a luxury brand um, located in New York I think and they have all kinds of luxury botanicals it says here anyway it's cruelty free it's not tested on animals so anyway they're coming out with this uh, whole set of makeup and skincare and uh, I just needed to show you not because I think this is super special I have no way to judge if this is super special but I wanted to just tell you this because of the prices because it almost knocked my teeth off out something <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so there are two lipsticks. They retail for $38 each. <laughs> okay, we're, we're getting better. Um, there's a luxury illuminate, illuminating liquid for $38. Uh, it's like an illuminating bronzer. Then there is an Aurora luxury illuminating powder for $50. <laughs> there is a luxury body oil and now... <clears throat> Sit up straight, <laughs> $90. Wow, that is unbelievable, but we're getting, we're getting even better. <laughs> Luxury nourishing skincare discovery set for $120. Like I can get a whole transplant of skin of like a 16 year old. <laughs> for that money, uh, really, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, and then there is a luxury face cream, a face cream for $95. Uh, that is, it seems like this is a whole different world that I can absolutely not relate to, that I, I'm never going to be there uh, to be able to relate to this. I don't know if it's healthy to be like that, <laughs> you know what I mean? I'd rather just buy a big jar of coconut oil and, and to spend like $10 on that and rub that all over my body. Seriously. Anyway... Uh, that's just me. <laughs> Let's go into something and I have to make a big 
tangent around this because I just have to. Do you remember two weeks ago we spoke for the first time about Classy Cake Cosmetics? So um, that was two weeks ago and after that the owner of the brand contacted me and it actually turned out that she had been subscribed to, subscribed to my channel for quite a while, uh, like sort of in the background and I had no idea. I never made the connection that that person is the owner of that brand. So that is absolutely amazing to me. Anyway, so so we sort of put the whole thing in perspective now I know who she is and uh, and she was so thrilled that I gave her brand such a big shout out uh, in my video and I really I did that because I was absolutely floored by those seasonal pelts that we spoke about if you remember anyway so <laughs> ever since I have shared a uh, classy cakes web website to like all of my relatives in Europe and everybody and <laughs> anyway everybody is super excited about this these releases um, because I guess my excitement is contagious and I love what she does. Anyway, so I have been waiting for her to show more stuff and she actually posted a couple days ago she posted a, a palette and that was her first international order going to I think New Zealand or Australia I think I want to say New Zealand so uh, and that looked absolutely amazing I'm gonna uh, put a picture right here and that was I think a custom-made palette for a customer in New Zealand so now um, she said to me or she wrote to me that in a few days a new collection or new bundles are gonna drop new releases and I was super excited about that and I said wait you rock girl and uh, I was hoping that I would get to see the pictures before I sit down and film and uh, you know what before always before I film I just go one last time to Instagram and check if there is anything new and I saw that I had a private message and Sandra the owner of Classy K Cosmetics actually sent me the pictures of the new release so I could talk about it because isn't that amazing? I thought that was so sweet and I feel so special that she did that and it's amazing and thank you Sandra I know you're watching <laughs> so now let's go into those two new bundles that have been released and that is the the wait cornucopia cornucopia bundle I don't know that might be Spanish <laughs> I'm so bad with this um cornucopia or cornucopia I don't know how to how to pronounce it. I'm so sorry. Uh, this is the bundle. It comes with this pa palette and with the three highlighters that you see there above the palette and a lippy. And I think this is so super beautiful. So um, absolutely amazing. I especially, especially love the middle row, of course, but even the other ones, I think I'm so intrigued by this brand. And that is so like, what? <laughs> Where have you been? Seriously. And I'm gonna also include some some blu uh, some blushes, some swatches from the Carno Carno Copia uh, bundle. And then I want to show you another bundle that she's coming out with, and that is obviously a little bit more. Th th this has Leora written all over it, and that is wait. I have to. Ugh, I have to get the the right name. It's the cold. Is it the cold snap bundle? Yes, I think the the blue bundle is the cold snap bundle. Yeah, and that looks absolutely amazing. Also the highlighters and also that that purpley shifty blue shifty lippy so so beautiful okay so i just have to go back to my uh list to my file here Ugh, can i figure out my life here i really don't know <laughs> so i think this is going to be another super super successful release honestly and really if she continues like this i can see her going far in this this is super beautiful if you ask me and uh, each of the bundles retails for 90 dollars which is not a piece of cake especially like for me it, it's not a piece of cake at all but um i think if you have something like this or even like a custom-made palette uh, where you really have all the shades that you choose for yourself that is you know it's it's absolutely amazing and i love that and i wish her all the luck in the world with her brand i know she's just starting out and she's building but in growing and i i can see this for her you know it's absolutely amazing so yay <laughs> all right so next thing i wanted to talk about is masseria beauty or macaria beauty we spoke about that also like three weeks ago or something and back then we had um 
among other things like a blue palette and some other palette and now they're coming out with another palette which is Dolce Amor the Dolce Amor palette and this as far as it looks is an all shimmer palette which is okay I'm personally not the biggest friend of all shimmer palettes but just because I love to have a mix of mattes and and shimmers in my looks but I'm I'm always if I have for example when I create looks with MB Boutique palettes which are all shimmers all the time um, I'm just pulling in a different palette to have the mattes and that is totally fine with me so um, yeah yeah, so that is the Dolce Amore palette from Masseria Beauty. Masseria Beauty, yes. All right, so that is how it looks. I think it looks lovely and there is nothing, like I can't say anything bad about it. Would I buy it? Probably not. But um, I think I can have all of those shadows somewhere in my collection. Though, you know, this whole argument about is this release or that release really bringing something new to my collection i don't know if we are not all beyond that already because don't we all have so much already that we are beyond that stage and i have to sorry i have to go on another short tangent you know you remember the jc cosmetics palette the hashtag besties palette so my best friend has contacted me and she told me that she ordered this palette for me because it was one of my highlights in that week when i spoke about it and um and i'm gonna get that for my 40th birthday for my best friend so i love this palette and I have seen every single YouTuber who is doing these videos that I'm watching has been trashing this palette like crazy and I sort of feel so protective of this palette because I love it so much and the argument was yeah there's so many shades that are not necessary la 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 and this and that and it doesn't bring anything new and it looks so jumbled up um yeah, okay, everybody is entitled to their own opinion, obviously, but I love this palette. I love this palette and I'm not choosing my makeup necessarily according to does this bring anything new to the table. I choose my makeup or my whatever I love according to if I love it. If I fall in love with this palette when I see it, do I need the, the fifth golden shade or the tenth orange ch shade? No, no, probably not. But on the other hand... Like, what's the big deal? I like, I don't know. I'm, I'm more into feeling the makeup than into assessing every single little thing. But maybe all of these other YouTubers are way longer in this whole uh, YouTube world and in talking about makeup. So maybe they're a little bit more tired of makeup already, uh, but I'm not. So <laughs> I'm going to let myself love whatever I want to love. Anyway. Next thing is the um, a collaboration between Carly Bible and Il Maquillage. So this looks super bougie. I'm not super crazy about the whole how they how they make this release up <laughs> because it sort of feels a little bit past dated. Does not say that? It, mm. But anyway, uh, Carly Bible is of course a very very beautiful person. She is almost unbearingly beautiful unbearable unbearably beautiful uh, <laughs> that is like I can't even look at her I used to be subscribed to her I, I could not because she's just too pretty uh, this is so unfair but <laughs> anyway also her makeup style is of course not necessarily mine but she's so amazingly beautiful anyway she collaborated with Il Maquillage I'm not the greatest fan of Il Maquillage even though I have I do have several products of them uh, they are all good quality they are super duper expensive in my country it's a super luxury brand if you ask me and that is just something that I cannot sustain I cannot and um, I have not worked with them but I have worked close to them let's put it that way and I think their like their sales tactics tactics are really really shady so I'm not not super fond of them uh, the products though are nice they're like everything that I have from Il Maquillage performs well just thing the release itself it's lipsticks and uh, lip liners or lip glosses and um, it's okay it's okay like I'm not I'm not against it it's available from August 8th and uh, yeah and I'm sure it's gonna be really expensive <laughs> The next release is from 90s Baby Cosmetics and I don't think I have... Wow, this is really... It's really tickling me the whole time here. Uh, <laughs> it's from 90s Baby Cosmetics and I don't think I have talked about this brand yet. So this is the Summer of 2001 palette and um, I think it's okay. 
it's a colorful palette I love colorful palettes so there is nothing like terribly wrong there is I think one or two or maybe three four pressed glitters in the palette which I'm not super fond of I can deal with like one pressed glitter that's that's still in the range of okay if it's more than that you know what I think it is four or is it five it might even be five so that is or even more. I don't know. The, long, the longer I look at the palette, the more glitters I see. So that is a pass for me. Also, the swatches don't really look that amazing, honestly, that you see there on the right. Anyway, it retails for $30. And that is, it is, I think, available already. I was thinking, what was I doing in the summer of 2001? And I think that is the summer when I came to Israel, honestly. I think that is so there is a bit of nostalgia coming on but back then I was just wearing black so I had nothing to do with colors back then unbelievably but true uh, yeah okay next release which is also definitely not going to be for me is um, sugary what what was it is it sugary cosmetics yes it's sugary cosmetics and they're coming out with like a pineapple collection <sighs> Okay, so there is a highlighter palette, which is, it's nothing spectacular. The shades are not spectacular. The, the packaging is absolutely horrendous. But even worse than that is the eyeshadow palette that comes with that highlighter palette that is called the, what is it called? Sm smoothie? No. Sugar? No, I don't know what it's called. What is it called? It's a pineapple palette. <laughs> I mean, the shade shapes are annoying already i already didn't like that in there was the palette from tarte that is like the mermaid palette i don't necessarily like, like i like it's simple i like i like circles i like squares you know i'm very very simple when it comes to that mm, this is like but even the whole the whole theme why call it a pineapple palette and then have all those colors that have absolutely nothing to do with pineapple in that palette you know when i think of pineapple i would much rather, like I would think of that, what was it, the Paradise Dreams palette from OPV Beauty that we spoke about last time. That I could see as a pineapple palette, but this one here with all those colors makes absolutely no sense to me and I don't like it. It retails for uh, $29 and the shipping starts on August 3rd not for me okay next thing is a uh, do color uh, we spoke about do color already last time i think with the blue monochromatic palette and the green monochromatic palette and now they're releasing a red monochromatic palette and i honestly almost think that they are doing a better job than ColourPop. I almost want to say so. Like, I don't know anything about the um, the, the performance of those shadows, obviously, but um, I think that the the range of depth in the palettes that Do Color is creating is almost better than the ones from ColourPop. I almost want to say, even though I really, really badly want the ones from ColourPop too. <laughs> anyway, so this is that uh, the red palette. Do I have a price? Let me just see. No, I cannot see a price here right now. Anyway, I'm sure there's going to be more because when they released or, or sneak peeked the green one and the blue one, they said there's going to be a whole collection. So I'm sure there's going to be more than the, the red palette. I'm sure there's going to be yellow and all kinds of stuff. Next thing I wanted to talk to you about is uh, Sigma. And Sigma is coming out with new brushes and um, I so badly want to invest into Sigma brushes because I think my makeup game, even though like I'm not doing a bad job, but my brushes are really, really basic. Like my brushes, I think my most expensive brushes, like, I don't know, $20, but that is just one. Most of them are three dollars <laughs> you know like really really simple brushes and i think okay yes you can do a good job with simple brushes too but i think at least i'm trying to tell myself that that uh, my makeup game could just increase or like step up so much more if i would have sigma brushes because everybody who's really good at makeup seems seems to be using sigma brushes anyway so they're coming out with uh, six more brushes is that true six more brushes that are sort of pre-assisting brushes but smaller they're like minis of those brushes that are like really really favorites of a lot of people if that makes sense anyway so this is called the ultimate blending brush set and you can also buy them individually I don't have prices but I think it is a very very good idea I'm all in favor of brushes and more brushes and 
yeah <laughs> so that is Sigma and then another very exciting thing is from Juvia's Place and Juvia's Place is as far as I understood collaborating now or starting a round of collaborations and now they came out with their first collaboration which is Fumi Desalu Vault. I know everybody who's talking about this is messing up this name and I promised myself I will not mess it up because I don't want to mess it up but it's just it's beyond me Fumi Desalu Walt so and she is super beautiful she is such a beautiful person that is like breathtaking anyway so they're coming out with the queen palette which is for face and eyes which which retails for $15 and then uh, the queen gloss gloss the queen gloss in deep purple and the royalty gloss in nude um, the gloss is not so much my thing the uh, palette looks really really nice you can use that of course for eyes and cheeks and whatever so that is a very good idea to have it serve a lot of purposes uh, yeah I'm super excited that they're that they are doing collaborations now and uh, I'm really really you know looking forward to see what else is coming who else are they gonna collaborate with Okay, next thing is um, Pure Cosmetics and Pure Cosmetics is um, celebrating the 60th birthday of Barbie. <laughs> yeah, I think Barbie cares. And uh, yeah, so they're coming out with this whole collection that is Barbie inspired. And there is an eyeshadow palette that is, yeah, it's like, I think it's very boring. I can see that this is uh, colors that you would see a Barbie wearing, even though, I don't know if my internet comes back there we go um you have to know i'm filming in the basement and sometimes my internet is like i, I have no reception here uh sometimes my my instagram just leaves me <laughs> as a result of that okay so it is it is half neutral it is more than half neutral it basically is a neutral palette with two pops of colors and for me that is too basic and too little but i can see that a lot of people could um, get a nice glamorous looks even though i must say that i really i do not like the fact that brands do that that there is just like one dark matte and then everything else all the dark shades are shimmers or metallics or glitters i don't like that it does not make any sense in my book so uh, this is definitely of course not for me there's also going to be a ultra shine lip gloss for $16 there is a highlighter palette for $25 there are lashes for $14 there is a flawless signature complexion brush for $26 <laughs> anyway um there is a peel of mask and all kinds of stuff which i'm really not interested in but just so you know if you want to check this out that is pure cosmetics then the next thing is from uh, lunar beauty lunar beauty is the um the brand from uh, what's what's his name again uh, Manny MUA. Manny MUA. Um, I'm not a big fan of him at all, but I wanted to talk about this brand or uh, this palette because of the outer packaging. Because a couple days ago, he sneak peeked the outer packaging and that was super stunning, super stunning, breathtaking. Everybody was holding their breath. And now he released the inside and it is so blah, so blah that I'm actually sighing a breath of relief that I do not have to buy it. It looks like this. So that is the palette. It is... Mm. <laughs> okay, so he called it Strawberry Dreams. So of course it would be, you know, sweet, gentle, strawberry tones, whatever. But this is so boring and so uninspired and so not special that I'm just really happy about it. Sorry. I'm so happy that I can save my money and... and spend it on something that is really exciting to me so this is for example something that i would not fall in love with so that is good <laughs> all right i love the outer packaging but besides that i think this is a total fail for me um so this is a whole um, bundle of course the eyeshadow palette retails for 48 dollars, which i think is super expensive for a palette like this then uh, there are uh, lip glosses for 17 dollars. there is a lipstick for 18 dollars. there is a dreamsicle 
I don't know. There's another lipstick for $18 and the whole bundle collection is uh, $80 and just the lip bundle is $42. Not in interested, so we'll go to the next thing. There is Soeva and Soeva is coming out with a foundation. Um, and this is really the only picture I have as of right now and uh, maybe I'm gonna update you if I have something more t next week or the week after then of course I'm gonna update you. So Eva is coming out with 44 shades. It just says that it's coming soon and we should stay tuned so that's what we'll do because we have no other choice. <laughs> so yeah so that is the foundation. It looks like there is gonna be also darker shades but from the little bit I see I can't really judge but uh, I mean any any brand that is coming out with foundations would be extremely stupid not to include a lot of dark shades because everybody needs to know by now that there's going to be an instant outrage, right? Okay, sorry, I quickly had to go and change the... Um battery of the camera. So the next thing is uh, from Colourpop and Colourpop is coming out with a collaboration and I think that is not the first collaboration with uh, Becky G and she is another person that is so beautiful. It's like unbelievable. So they're coming out with a super shock pigment, uh, like a four, four pigment bundle which is retailing for $20. It's a vibrant magenta, a red orange, a turquoise and a true gold. And then she's coming out with a ultra glossy lip with a ultra glossy lip bundle for $18 which is a warm chestnut, a peachy nude, a sheer gloss with silvery pinpoints. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, okay, so, and the full collection retails for $35. Um, is this something that I need? No. Um, the colors look really nice in those um, pigment, um, Super Shock pigments. I don't need it. I just wanted to show you because the packaging is beautiful. <laughs> That is actually what drew me in, I have to be completely honest, and because of her picture, because she is such a beautiful human being in so beautiful. Anyway, uh, next thing, Natasha Denona. Natasha Denona is coming out with uh, her coral palette and this is an extremely, extremely boring palette. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, you know, I don't know. I, I, I'm not up for this. So I, I'm not sure. This is not a mini. I think this is one of her normal size palettes and um, I think this looks so boring. It retails for $48. Um, yeah, it's a full size eyeshadow with matte and shimmery finishes. No, not for me. Just showing you in case you're interested um, that this is available. Then also from Natasha Denona is uh, this year, and we spoke about something similar a couple weeks ago about the uh, liquid eyeshadow. What was it called? The Chroma Crystal Liquids. That's the, that's what I was looking for. The Chroma Crystal Liquids. And back then it was just like golds and, and bronzy sh uh, shades and maybe like a deep purplish kind of a shade. And now she's coming out and I assume that this is the same thing like in the same line. Um, she's coming out with a silver one and a, um, a black one, which I think is cool. <laughs> it is cool. Do I need it? No. And uh, they retail for $25 each. I'm I'd rather I'd rather buy a big eyeshadow palette from Morphe for that money. Sorry, that's just me. Uh, but I think it's a nice idea. It's called Disco in Space. Those those two uh, shadows. I think it's a cute idea. And yeah, so that's that's what it is. Okay, next thing that is oh, super super stunning is uh, yeah the <laughs> third batch of Mega Di Mega Dimensional Chromes from Touch of Glam Beauty. Uh, I have just a video here which is uh, super disturbing. I hate that. Like, I hate that. Can I just show you this? That it, like, when something is constantly moving, it is so annoying. But anyway, I'm gonna try to take a screenshot and put it here. The shades themselves is, they, they are so, so beautiful. I just needed to show you this because Touch of Glam Seriously, so, so beautiful. I don't even know what to say. It's, yeah, <laughs> drool worthy. Okay, um, then something very, very obvious that I should have mentioned together with the Becky G uh, collaboration is the Color Pop, Color Pop, <laughs> Color Pop Cosmetics um, Orange Collection. The, what, what was it? The uh, Orange You Glad. 
orange euclid eyeshadow palette and the brushes that go with it and the lippies that go with it and the glosses and the super shock shadows and everything so let's just talk about the palette because besides that i would probably not get any of this um the palette it is nice but i think these these three neutrals there in the, like the champagne kind of colors i think one would have been enough i think it should have been a little bit more poppy but the same thing i also said about the yellow palette and i'm just realizing you know i filmed this look by the way and i did that inspired by the oh, aha honey palette from colourpop the yellow one and i'm i'm realizing that it is not really a yellow palette it is a honey palette so that's why there is not like a super bright yellow in that palette and now with this one here, I think there could be a more bright orange in it or even like a like a neon orange or something like this because it's not, it's an orange palette, you know? It's not a honey palette instead of a yellow palette. So I don't know, it is nice. And the collector in myself wants this palette as well as all of the other ones, those um, monochromatic palettes from um, ColourPop. I almost said orange pop. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah I don't know have to think about it so anyway this is out there it's available and it is beautiful like it's it's not like it's bad or anything all right uh, next thing impulse cosmetics is coming out with uh, pressed eyeshadows and this is how they look and I think they are super super beautiful they, this green seriously uh, yeah <laughs> that is a duochrome as they say here it's called pick your poison and then the one to the right is called other side which is a duochrome coral aqua and then the one beneath the green is a duochrome brown and lime that is such a cool uh, cool combination and then the one to the bottom right is a matte coral i think this is a super beautiful bundle super super beautiful because really you can match every single shade with every other shade and it is still so it's vibrant it's interesting super super amazing i don't have prices but uh, this is impulse cosmetics and i think this is in a very very successful release then um, there is something that i have i don't think i have heard that yet heard about that yet it's fabled fragrances i don't know it seems to be a very very small just up and coming indie brand uh, based in austin texas and they're coming out with all of these matte eyeshadows and i think this is really really beautiful because there is not a single one in those eyeshadows that is boring there's not a single one i love this it is so pretty. It's 21 shades and bright, brights and deeps alike. Yeah, wonderful. There is nothing really I can, like, there is nothing negative I want to say about this, which is amazing. <laughs> anyway, I'm not a negative person, as you know, uh, but this is absolutely beautiful. I love all of them. There is not a single one that I would not want. So there you go. I want all of those and then I want to pair it up with all of those shimmery shades from Classy K Cosmetics. That's that's why I want for my birthday. <laughs> all right, uh, do we have anything else? Let me just check if there's anything left. One more thing and then we're done, girls. <laughs> we're so good. Okay, so this is Root Cosmetics and they are coming out with these uh, two palettes. And one is, wait, let me just check. This is the Roaring Twenties and one is called Carefree and one is called Reckless. So the Carefree one is more like a nude classy palette and the Reckless palette is the one to the bottom that has the green design and also the green shades and the blue shades and the purple, which is obviously a little bit more interesting to me uh, because I am a little bit more reckless with my colors, I guess. <laughs> um, I think this looks really nice. Honestly, both of them, I think, look really, really nice. Do I have prices? Yes, they retail for $22 each and I think this is also a very successful release. Like it. I absolutely like it and what can I say? I just let myself like a lot and my wish list is growing longer as we speak. All right, so let's go in the middle and just... Oh, oh. <sighs> I'm wearing myself out, girls. Seriously. Okay, um, let's just go over my favorites. Okay, so there was Classy Cake Cosmetics with those two new bundles that she released. Super, super beautiful. I'm super excited for her and I'm so flattered that she sent me those pictures. <laughs> 
to thank you again really um and then the next thing that is super beautiful was a touch of glam those mega mega dimensional chromes um where i showed you the video which was also super stunningly beautiful the next thing is the uh impulse cosmetics this bundle with the green and the and the coral those those four shades i thought that was super successful then the uh, fabled fragrances those 21 mattes that seriously <laughs> really super beautiful i hope to hear a lot more from from that brand fable frequencies please keep going like this seriously and um if there are so many brands who are doing good stuff then maybe i do not even know need to start my own brand <laughs> which is sort of sad because i want to <laughs> all right and then um also the root cosmetics those two palettes that i mentioned last the the the, the carefree palette and the reckless palette from the roaring 20s palette collection or whatever it's called anyway so that um I, that concludes the video i my wish list is growing and growing it kills me <laughs> anyway but uh let me let me know what you liked this week or what you didn't like and if there's anything that i missed or maybe if i missed it then maybe next week because you know certain releases just maybe kissed a kissed missed the cutoff where I just had to sit down and film this. Anyway, so uh, you know I love my quality time with you. I hope you enjoyed. If you're new here, please feel free to come and join and subscribe. And besides that, I'm going to see you here tomorrow for my next video. And up until then, it's my pleasure to have you and it's an honor to have you. And up until then, hugs and kisses. Bye.